Jasmine Frey uh -huh. here after the 800 meters in New York City. Just tell me how you're feeling after the race today. Um, so I actually raced earlier this morning. Um, I raced in the Open Women's uh, 800 at 220. Um, and you know, I'm feeling okay about it. Like I ran 203 and I know that's like not my potential. I know I can do a lot better. Um, but you know, my teammates and my coaches and my family, all my supporters, they always say like, today's another opportunity. And even if I didn't do well today, I always just think about it as like, you know what, things happen for a reason. And like, you can't control that. Um, you can't control how you feel. And I'm just proud that I came out here and I did it. I did what I needed to do. So didn't come out with the best result, but I'm still super grateful. And then I was also really happy because they asked me to come and pace the faster section of the 800. And so that's what I was doing on the track. Um, and originally they actually said to do it in 57.5. But just because it was so windy today, like as a runner myself, I know like, okay, like I have to kind of be like attentive to what the, like the, what the other runners are doing because my position is to help like pace them, but also to block the wind like for them. And like, if I'm way out ahead, that's not going to help them. Like that's not doing anything for them. So I kind of took out and it was really windy. And so that's why on like the last 150, I kind of started to rear back a little um, because I wanted to protect them from the wind as much as possible. And then kind of get out their way and it went really well my agent was happy with it uh the runners they were happy with it so we were just happy to do it nice yeah and can you talk to me about the transition from i mean you were in my opinion a legend at texas oh, a &M. thank you thank you were you. like killing it in the NCAA. play but can you talk to me about that transition from college to pro mm -hmm. and not even necessarily like on the track but maybe even just becoming an adult in a yeah sense. yeah um so this is my high school coach sorry <laughs> um so I think it is a really big transition. Um, it's actually really funny because when I was in high school, a lot of times I would take out and kind of run in the front. And it's kind of funny because going to a and that's pretty much how they train us to be. They train us to run in the front. And I feel like I kind of already knew how to do that somewhat and had somewhat of the confidence to do it because I did it in high school. Um, and so that was really good in high school and college. And then transitioning from that to professional, you know, people here on the next level, like this is the highest level you can get and it's so good. And so leading from the front is not always what you're supposed to do. Like it, sh it can't be the same race tactic every single time. So I've actually for the past three years had to teach myself to run from different positions, like run from the front, be able to run from the middle and be able to run from the back because that's what makes a great runner. You know, that they can kind of do anything and they can run fast from anywhere. Um, so that's been probably my biggest transition. Um, and just, you know, I'm running against some of the best people in the world and just trying to get that really big confidence back. Like trying to do my best to be super confident in myself and believe in myself. And I'm getting there, I'm getting there a lot. Um, it was pretty rough like at first, but I have such a great support system. I have so many really good people around me. And so they've all helped me and it's getting better and better every year. Love it. And last two questions. Can you talk to me about some of your role models as you were growing up um, and getting into sports? Not even just in track, but maybe just other role models you had. Um, so I would say my off the track role model will be my mom. You know, my, me and my mom are super close. She's a single parent, so it's always just been me and her. And I just love her so much. And she's shown me what it means to be resilient. And she's shown me what it is to be super disciplined and to never give up. And even when you fall, you know, things happen for a reason. Like, she's the person that taught me that. And so she's been my biggest role model off the track. And then on the track, the person that shows me that resilience a lot is Ajay Wilson and Natoya Gould. You know, they're both such beasts in the 800, um, Ajay for America, and then Natoya Gould for Jamaica. So they're my inspiration, and I look up to them so much because they teach me so much every single time I see them. I'm like, okay, I need to do this, or I, all right, I need to do this better, or I can do this better, so it's great. Last question. Do the 800, um, and even text them, we ran the 4x4s, four four, yeah. right, and all that, but... Give me an event that you've never done before that you would love to do before you retire. What event would you do? Could be on the track, could be on the field. I would definitely, I don't know why, but for some reason the 400 hurdles like came to my mind. I don't know, I mean, I feel like I'm too, I just don't feel like I could do that, but I would just love to try it because I really like the 400, um, but I've already run the 400 a lot of times. So yeah, probably the 400 hurdles. Like I just think it'd be super fun and I don't know, I'd love to, I'd love to give it a shot. There you go. Well, Jasmine Frey <laughs> might see you in the 400 hurdles one day. Yes, one day, one day, <laughs> maybe in the Masters, 400 meter hurdles. Not right now. Very cool. Jasmine Frey, thank you so much. Thank you guys. <laughs>